Well, it is morning. I had a very long night last night. That I want to tell you guys about. But basically, yesterday, I woke up and I needed to get ready for the trip. The night before, I had stayed up the majority of the night. I was actually up till about 7 o'clock in the morning. My plan was to leave Midland by around 5 o'clock, head to my cousin's house, get there around 10 o'clock, and then stay there till the morning. Get a good night's rest in, wake up at it around, you know, 7, 8 o'clock, you know, get this whole thing going. Well, that didn't work out at all. Eventually, I ended up going outside to gather up some of my stuff to put it back in the Jeep. <sighs> While I was out here, I noticed my fuel tank was missing and the, uh, the strap was on the ground, like just right here. And the first thought that came to mind was, oh snap, it, you know, fell out. Did, did it fly off the Jeep when I was driving down the road? You know, like that, that's a big safety hazard. Like the strap must have broke off. And then eventually I started thinking about it and I realized that, that that wouldn't be possible because if it had popped off on the road, the strap wouldn't be on the ground. And after looking at it for a while, I realized that somebody actually cut it. After further speculation, I found out that somebody actually stole some of my stuff. They ended up getting my fuel tank and my full socket set, including my torque wrench. Now, granted, it was partially my fault for having the tools out in the first place, but like I said, I was in and out until around 6.30 in the morning getting stuff ready for the Jeep, so whenever it happened, it happened fast. I, I was very upset. I literally had steam coming out my ears. Or maybe not literally, but I was like this close to cussing, and I don't cuss, because I was saying something. I could have cussed. It inevitably all worked out because Haley's mom knows an elderly couple, and they were willing to spare some of their old tools so they ended up giving me this little socket set which is actually pretty neat because I can just toss it under my seat granted it's nothing compared to what I had before but they still were willing to just give it to me which was really cool if you guys ever end up seeing this really appreciate the tools definitely gonna help out a lot they also gave me a um, little pot that I can use it's like a like one of those blue like camping pot things kinda like I think it's like a blue enamel it looks pretty cool Kind of excited about using it because before this I've been using just a regular pot and even that I barely used. But I definitely am trying to make my setup a little bit more camp friendly. I say that, but I just brought along a regular coffee pot with me, which will probably break really easily. So, I don't know. A lot of stuff gets tossed and turned around the Jeep, so the less breakables I have, the better. I was just trying to set up the coffee. I didn't know my family was already here. Hey. I, I was going to blare Evanescence, bring me to life to wake you up. But you weren't in your Jeep. Uh, well, I was supposed yeah. to meet up with my family at our cousin's house this morning, um, somewhere around 10 o'clock. So I didn't actually expect them to be here until like 9-ish. But while I was inside filming, they actually showed up right behind me. So I guess we're heading to my cousin's house.
I just tried to do one. Just one. I mean, I'm out of shape, but I, you gotta at least do one. <laughs> Jump up and do one. It's hard to like get my thumbs in through the tubes. You don't need your thumbs. You don't use your thumbs. I don't use my thumbs? No. Oh, okay. One pull. What? <laughs> uh, you need a gym membership. Times two. Times three. I hate you times three. I'm really out of shape. That hurt my hands. I used to be able to do ten of those. Pigmation, you're so pink. I am pink. I have really red skin. <laughs> you did this regularly, didn't you? I did. Oh, that's the point. Remember having an income finish? Yeah, that's why I'm going to be on the road, but they don't have an income finish. Basically, getting an all expense paid trip with my parents. Um, I'm in Florida right now, and uh, I have a lot of plans for when I get back in the Jeep. I slept in the Jeep last night, got a little bit of a taste of living back on the road. The Jeep needs a tune-up or something because when I was driving it, it just kept spitting. It made it all the way from Midland to Dallas, which is about a six hour drive or so. But um, it, it ran really rough the whole way. Um, I think that I need to change out the spark plugs, probably check the, you know, check over just ba basic maintenance. <clears throat> in about a week from now, I'm gonna be back in Dallas with my Jeep. I'm gonna get some stuff repaired on it, you know, do a tune-up. I'm gonna go see my grandma while I'm down here since she lives only about 20 minutes away. Then I might go meet up with Parker again. I don't know if you guys remember Parker, but I might go hang out with him. He just got a new toy that I kind of want to go play with. I really don't have an exact plan. I want to do a meet up while I'm still in Texas. And then from there, we're going to start the road trip again. This isn't going to be a cut and dry system. I'm kind of just winging it from here. But I have been more motivated recently to actually get back on the road than I've been in a while. I took about a two month break being in Midland, got some stuff fixed, got some stuff figured out and I think I'm ready to get back on the road. So that's the plan for now. Should be super cool. I'm gonna go and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Gains! Bro, you like...